I could go way back, and that is that I loved storytelling mm. uh, because, as I said, it never really came from a, a culture that read books. Mm -hmm. uh, I was taken to movies. I saw films on TV. I had the terrible asthma, so I couldn't go anywhere. But I found that stories, the voice of the narrator, particularly in British films, mm. particularly uh, in, uh, uh, oh, a top example is Kind Hearts and Coronets. Henry took photograph after photograph, but seemed to have no urge whatever to follow it up with a visit to the dark room. Bravo, Edith! It kind of clashed with um, narration in Italian and French New Wave films. Comment me serais-je douté que tu étais fait la taille de mon corps même? Tu me plais. Quel événement? Tu me plais. And right around that time, I started to make my own films. Yes. A clash, but it seemed to it seemed to fall in place. And yet, after a few days, just hanging around the house, you know, I found myself like always being drawn to it. Of course, I thought nothing of it. But like my eyes, always met it. Along with people I knew who could tell great stories on the street corner, mm -hmm. uh, my father telling stories, my mother, the humor, uh, and the irony, as you should say, or the or the seriousness uh, of this, these some of these stories were yeah, powerful, um, and and uh, later expressed as my father played in uh, Goodfellas when he has to tell Bob De Niro on the phone that uh, Joe Pesci was killed. That's my father's voice. Mm. Oh wow, wow! Yeah, telling him there was a problem. No, we had a problem. I mean, uh, we tried to do everything we could. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. He's gone. And we couldn't do nothing about it. That's it. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, he's gone. He's gone. And that's it. 